Hello, hi, Ross Scott, I'm about coming to you live from Oahu. It is September 1st, 2015, 9 15 in the morning. We're talking about old school sales tactics and strategies and things that you should know because the buyer, for the most part, is expecting them. I'm not recommending that you use them, but you got to know that sometimes sales instructors are going to teach these. And for me, I judge how good a sales instructor is by what strategies and what tactics that they use and how far they go back into old school sales. So, the crossroads is like one of the oldest sales strategies that there is, okay? So the buyer says, you know what, I gotta think about this. And then me, as a salesperson, says like something along the lines of this. You know what, Mr. Prospect, you're at a crossroads here. There's two things that can happen. Either you could go ahead and move forward with the project or you could do nothing. And if you do nothing, here's all the problems that you're gonna have. And if you do move forward, here's all the things that you're gonna get, okay? And so the whole goal is to paint the picture of like, in the oscillation, oscillation means like a clock, a pendulum on a clock goes like, Oscillation happens with buyers too, where they're going yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, throughout the whole entire presentation, just like you're doing right now. You're like, do I like Scott? Yes. Do I like Scott? Maybe. Do I like Scott? Yes. Do I like Scott? Maybe, right? You're oscillating. And so one of the things that happens with the crossroads close is you're saying, look, on the far end of the pendulum over here is you doing nothing. On the other far end of the pendulum over here is you to do something, right? And so the something is spelled out and you're painting the picture for what that person is going to get for when they move forward. And then you're also painting that picture for what they get when the person doesn't do anything. So so this one can be effective. I like this one more than anything else for the reason that you're not trying to discount, you're just painting the picture. Like, look, you know what? You can go ahead and do nothing. Go ahead, do nothing. That's not gonna help you out. But when you buy the product, the service, the widget, or the gizmo, here's what you're gonna get. Just tell me yes, we'll move forward. Tell me no, I'll pack up my stuff and I'll leave. Now, once again, I wanna let you know, I'm giving you the short piece of information that I would say I'm not going through a whole entire process. I'm giving you a shortcut. If you're gonna use this, you're gonna have to figure out how you're gonna say it yourself. I don't want you to go out on the field and go out there and try something and be like, I heard Scott say this, right? I'm giving you the short version. You're gonna have to take down, sit, sit down and figure out how you're gonna say it and how you're gonna do it. I don't wanna create challenges for you. So the crossroads out of all of these so far is probably the one that I would say that I would use the most that's really gonna help out. Um, you can use an Omega strategy and these came from Dr. Eric Knowles. You can say something along the lines of like, hey, I know that you said that you don't wanna move forward today, but here's what's gonna happen when you do and here's what's gonna happen when you don't move forward. So you can combine the two strategies. I wanna give credit where credit is due, Dr. Dr. Eric Knowles, smart dude, University of Arkansas, brilliant guy, really like him, has a lot of cool stuff to say. So out of all these old school sales tactics, this one's probably the best. Now, if you can do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe and then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Scott Sullivan Bell. Only Scott Bell, Sullivan Bell. See you soon, thanks for watching, aloha.